Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the Seaman. Now I want to welcome you to another edition of the Seaman's Cinema Sit Down. Oh man, I was nervous about this movie. Uh, the lead actor had given away some information after his last movie about how he just always has to have a happy ending. And when you're trying to build a suspense disaster action flick, uh, knowing everyone's gonna live should be a killer. But not here. Uh, somehow, some way, this movie still makes you gasp out loud and give you real legitimate suspenseful moments. What am I talking about? Don't worry, I ain't gonna leave you hanging. Pull up a chair, take a seat. It is time for me to dive in, non-spoiler, spoiler free, on Skyscraper, uh, Dwayne Johnson's new flick, The Rock. Um, for those unaware, this comes from Ross and uh, Marshall Thurber, both writing and directing. Uh, same guy who did Central Intelligence, which featured The Rock and uh, his first team up with Kevin Hart. Uh, really, really funny movie. Um, so he's back here. No, no funny business going on at all. This is a straight up serious kind of suspenseful disaster action flick. Uh, it takes place in this massive tower out in Hong Kong after the after Dwayne Johnson's character suffers, um, you know, from an explosion, uh, you know, in one of his military missions, uh, or FBI maybe. I think they say FBI in the movie, which is weird, but he's in all his military guard. But none, nevertheless, the accident leads to him losing his leg. Um, transitions him to, one, meeting his future wife uh, from that accident, and two you know, from there building a family and then moving that family out, uh, you know, for a potential job out in Hong Kong. Um, there is this man, uh, out there who has developed, uh, the largest, uh, tower in the world. Um, and the tower has all sorts of, uh, you know, pluses to it. You know, it functions completely on turbine wind and en wind energy. Um, you know, it has all sorts of upsides to it. Um, so, and that, that man, of course, uh, is Chin Han's, uh, Zhao Longji. Um, so he uh, has this big, uh, you know, massive building. Uh, and one of the guys that works on his security team used to be in the military back with Dwayne Johnson. That guy gets Dwayne, even though he's just one guy, super, super small uh, time, gets him this massive contract to kind of come and check out all the security stuff, make sure the security stuff works. Um, from there, of course, uh, you know, there's a nefarious plan to, to, to stop this building from happening. Uh, people who have issues with Zhao um, directly, um, you know, end up setting fire to a floor, which, and then taking over uh, all the tech of the tower uh, to launch the fire upwards. And it is Dwayne Johnson's job, separated from his family, who's not supposed to be in the tower at this point. They're supposed to be, like, out at the zoo. Um, but they end up being in the tower. When he finds that out, uh, he has to go back in to try to save all of them. And that's basically, uh, you know, what we have with Skyscraper. And I gotta say, man, for the most part, this movie is pretty solid. I, I, like I said, I was very uh, impressed that they were actually able to deliver uh, some actual suspense, knowing what The Rock said after Rampage uh, about always having a happy ending. Uh, so, But you know how I roll, man. Before we get into the good, man, we gotta start with the bad, and then we'll end with the good. Uh, and first thing here is, um, you know, there, there is something in this movie that is building. Uh, you feel it building the whole movie. And when it comes time for the payoff, the payoff is really, really weak. Um, it, it's one of those things that really, it was probably the most disappointing thing in the movie for me. Uh, you should be able to spot it as soon as it happens. Because you feel like it's building to this big moment, and then it just kind of falls flat. Um, on top of that, um, I really wanted um, more of Roland Moeller, uh, who plays our main bad guy. Um, he's really good. We're going to talk about him in a minute. Um, but I, I felt like there should have been more for him to do. Uh, and if we could have given him more to do, I think that really would have elevated the movie as well. Um, his character just has, I think, like a very, very high ceiling. And I just don't think it's completely realized. Um, the other thing that's kind of a, a knock for this movie, it's incredibly predictable. Uh, it's really easy to see the things that are coming. Like I said, with, with what The Rock said, you kind of know who's going to make it to the end of this movie. Um, but despite a lot of stuff being predictable, this movie is, is still able to overcome that uh, with the suspense and the action. Uh, and, you know, we kind of will get there. But there's one more thing to kind of check off the bad list, uh, and that's the kids. Look, the kids in this movie are adorable. Um, you know, they show up, they do their best, um, but they really don't have any character development. They don't really bring anything to the movie except problems for Nev Campbell and, uh, Dwayne Johnson. 
Uh, Nev Campbell and Dwayne Johnson's characters married in, in the movie. Uh, and the kids that they have, uh, they're just kind of like a weight. Legitimately, too. If you're Nev Campbell, you're actually carrying the, the youngest kid around most of the movie. Uh, and they just kind of become more of a hindrance. And, you know, that's, that's fine in a movie like this, but, but bring something extra to it. Uh, and it just doesn't, man. The kids are just kind of there for what feels like to be a problem. Um, but outside of that, man, this movie has got a whole lot of good, and it starts, of course, Big Shock, with Dwayne Johnson. Uh, the Rock is really, really good in this movie. Uh, he brought his A-game for sure. Uh, he plays Will Sawyer, our amputee, uh, as I mentioned before, and... One of the things uh, that I love about The Rock in this movie is, is he, it's very reminiscent of San Andreas, um, just, you know, with a different type of disaster going on. Only, I think this works better, uh, I think this has a better story, and I think The Rock uh, is vastly better from San Andreas, uh, but he's, he, you know, he stepped his game up a little bit. It's nothing drastic, um, but there's definitely improvements for him. Um, you know, and it starts with his, uh, physical acting. Uh, so many of The Rock's movies, man, he just comes off like he's superhuman, you know? Like, he'll get hit and he won't move, or he'll be able to, like, throw people across rooms. And we love that, man. We love the ridiculous action. You get tons of absurd action in this movie. Um, but The Rock's physical acting really makes you feel like he's an actual human. Um, you know, he has, as I said, the prosthetic leg. And that's really cool, man. The, the CGI and how they make that work uh is fascinating because it looks so good uh there's one sequence where you get to see him put it on um <clears throat> but other than that he has it the whole time and anytime he goes up and down stairs he kind of has to wobble and limp and anytime he is moving faster than a walking pace uh whether it's speed walking or running uh he's kind of running with a limp because of you know the you know the the prosthetic leg uh, i thought that was really good to see from him on top of that uh when he exerts a massive amount of energy uh you know if he's like climbing something or if he gets into a really brutal fight sequence where he gets kind of beat up a little bit those you know kind of run through the entire movie after that um you know he doesn't like bounce off things and then just get right back to being like a kick-ass superhero uh you know everything that he endures in the movie affects him physically on screen and he does a for me a better job than he's done in most of his movies uh exuding how much the physicality of the movie is getting to him because he's a regular guy you know he might have military training but at the end of the day regular dude the other thing that he does really well too here is he he, he steps up the game for his emotional acting i always joke around i'm still waiting to see the rock roll a tear uh, but he does really make you buy into the emotional stuff with his family in this movie. Uh, you really, you know, get that sense of urgency from him. Uh, you totally buy into what he's doing, and you're rooting for him and his family the whole movie uh, because of the way he's able to do all that stuff. Then, of course, you know, you can just throw him right into his wheelhouse when it comes to his action and his fight sequences. Uh, like I said, the action in this movie is pretty awesome. Um... It, it, some of it, from a physics standpoint, makes no sense. Uh, I know everyone's been ripping apart the picture of the rock jumping from the crane uh, to the window. But I can say, the way they cut those things, even though they are kind of absurd, uh, they don't come off like uber ridiculous. Uh, they come off somewhat believable. Um, especially that jumping sequence. The way it's cut and how fast and it happens so quickly, uh, you kind of buy that maybe he makes the jump, even though it's you know it's physically impossible. But outside of that... Um, you know, all of those action sequences, he gets to ride a couple of scooters and motorcycles, uh, a lot of climbing, a lot of explosions, but he gets some real solid fight sequences once he gets into the building uh, as he runs into our main bad guys. Uh, and all that stuff is top-notch, man. I mean, you know you're getting good stuff when it comes to the action with The Rock. I think the thing here is to see him kind of step up his game a little bit in the acting was really nice, and it works really, really well. Um... You know, and he, like I said, he's able to deliver these exciting and suspenseful, believe it or not, suspenseful scenes. There are like four different times in this movie where I, myself, and other audience members, even though it wasn't a packed house, um, <clears throat> we gasped out loud. Like, you're like, you, you know, like I said, you know what's going to happen ultimately. And yet still, things happen. You go, <gasps> you know, it, it's, it, it, it really startles you sometimes. And I thought that was super impressive. And a lot of that uh, goes to The Rock for being able to sell it. Um, and as I said, the suspense in this movie, 
Uh, it, it's pretty solid, man. You know, like I said, knowing that, that you're going to get a happy ending means most likely everyone's going to survive. And yet you're still able to deliver some sequences that really, like I said, make you hold your breath. Um, you know, and there, there's a few times in the movie where you, you almost question whether or not like him or his family are in real danger. Uh, just the way it's set up and, and the way it creeps up on you sometimes. The speed in which some of these suspenseful scenes happen. They kind of come out of nowhere and catch you off guard and really makes you go, oh no! And then, of course, you know, you, you go from there. Um, but like I said, it does do a really good job of multiple times making you really fear for... Dwayne Johnson, Nev Campbell, and their family. Um, you know, I just, I thought that was really, really impressive, uh, knowing that ultimately everyone in this movie is going to be okay. I guess that's a spoiler, um, but that, that, you can blame that on The Rock, because he said that himself. Um, on top of that, the action, like I said, is pretty solid in this movie. Um, I love the sequence of Johnson getting into the hotel, which, of course, leads to the crane sequence, um, but th there's a whole bunch of things in his way uh, for him to go from where he is to uh, the tower to where his family is and uh, that whole thing the whole stretch to get there is a lot of fun um, you know and then the fight and the fight sequences too once he gets inside the building he has to dispatch you know some of the bad guys before he can get to his family and all of that stuff really really good um, I love watching the fire spread in this tower uh, it's fascinating the way it's set up both from the villain standpoint and like the execution of their plan uh, and then how it actually happens. Uh, there, there's a sequence with Nev Campbell um, and the kids where they're in the park. Uh, the tower, which we'll talk about in a second, has a park in the middle of it. Uh, and the fire starts like kind of coming up through the middle of that. And that whole stretch as the fire climbs and we keep trying to move away from it, uh, all of that stuff plays really, really well. Um, there, there's a sequence with Nev Campbell and Dwayne Johnson where they're kind of separated by a bridge and you kind of have to cross it. Uh, that whole sequence and them getting back together, kind of re, like getting the family back together, awesome. Uh, there's an elevator scene shortly after that that's really cool. Uh, you know, something similar to things that we've seen in the past, but executed in a way that I liked. Um, there, there's, uh, like I said, also in this park, uh, there is a, a waterfall, uh, and there's a stretch that kind of leads you in behind the waterfall uh, with the rock and his daughter. That's a lot of fun. And finally, the finale of the movie, what ultimately leads us uh two hour end and two um you know the rock you know saving his family and, and getting you know the people he has to get out of the building out uh that whole finale and lead up is really really awesome especially the build the lead up to the penultimate action thing uh is really really fascinating and it has to do with a lot of stuff that they've developed inside of the tower which we'll talk about in a sec um, but as I said, there is one element that kind of falls up short, and if you could have delivered it a little bit bigger, uh, the end of this movie would have been really, really something fantastic. Uh, now, as I said, the tower in the movie is awesome. It's humongous. I think they said it's like three times the size of the Empire State Building. Um, massive, and it looks gorgeous from afar. Uh, seeing it just stand in the middle uh, of the city in Hong Kong, it, it's gorgeous to look at from the outside. Um, I love the, the wind turbines that you can see generating from the outside. Uh, and just the whole look of the building is really cool. Add on top of that, the inside is really dope as well. Um, like I said, there's a park in the middle of it um, that has a, a massive waterfall and everything that you could want out of a park situation. Um, and it's just gorgeous. It's smack dab in the middle of this tower. Um, and it's just beautiful uh, the way you get to kind of zoom through and see it real quick. Um, then you have the penthouse suite uh, or the safe room uh, that's Zhao's. Um, that, that whole sequence up there, man, that, that's a really neat room. The tech in the building is really, really cool. Zhao has tech to like open the door uh, to, the, to the master suite. Uh, that's really neat. Like When he does it, I was sitting in the theater and went, oh, that was really cool. I like that. Um, you know, and, and I just uh, I like that whole room and the way that, that ends up not only being a penthouse, but also like a safe room. Because uh, it's like almost impenetrable uh, once it's closed from the inside. Uh, and that, that, that brings up some interesting things for us to play with for The Rock. Um, and the way the story plays out that I really, really did enjoy. Uh, and then there's The Pearl. Uh, the, the Pearl is, is like the, you know, that, that's the, the money maker. You know, if you will, uh, it's basically this giant orb uh, that's kind of on the top, but a little out uh, from the side of the building. Um, which also, right below there, somewhere around there too, uh, it has the ability to drop a wall and stick out a helipad, which is really neat. Uh, but the pearl is awesome, man. You go inside, and what 
Zhao wants the pearl to be is so cool, man. The way he, they use these reflective panels uh, and different things, they kind of give you like a, a twist on like a carnival uh, like mirror maze. And it all is just stunning visually. And it plays so well uh, when the pearl comes into play in the movie. Uh, and, and, and it's really, it, like I said, it's really, really cool. Um, and like I said, the technology just inside the pearl more than anything else is just wild. Um, I mean, there's a sequence where you see the rock and Zhao standing in the room uh, that's like mind blowing when you look at it. Um, it was really, really, I thought, cool stuff. Um, you know, and then look, then you have your supporting cast of characters uh, in this movie, and it starts with Nev Campbell uh, and the kids. As I said, the kids are kind of just adorable, and, and they, they present problems for both Nev Campbell and the rock, uh, Dwayne Johnson, to figure out. Um, but I love seeing Nev Campbell back, man. One, she looks fantastic in this movie. Um, and, you know, with what they ask her to do, everything that she does pops, man. Uh, I really love her and The Rock's relationship. Uh, they have, like, a cute little thing that they do in the movie uh, that, just, like, you see it and you're just like, oh, man, like, you can tell their chemistry works really well. Uh, I also love the way she interacts with the kids, even though the kids are kind of a big problem for them in the movie. Um, she feels like she's a really good mom. Uh, the way she takes care of the kids, the way she looks out for them is awesome. Um, you know, she really makes you buy into that elevator scene that I mentioned, um, you know, which is, which is awesome uh, there. And then she gets one legit action sequence, man, where she's got to, like, actually fight a couple guys. And because she also has that military background like Dwayne Johnson, uh, she gets to kick some ass. And it, it, you buy into it because you know that she has the training to do what she does. It doesn't seem out of place or anything like that. And it's awesome. I loved watching it. And ultimately, I really hope that this kind of launches a little Nev Campbell comeback. Because I would love to see her kind of start popping up back in some movies. Maybe get her back into a horror movie. That would be so much fun. Uh, she really uh, is having a good time and, and executes really well in this movie. Um, you know, on top of that, the, 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 the rest of the supporting cast, we start, uh, with our main bad guy, Roland Moeller. Uh, he's awesome. And he, he has the physical stature to oppose the rock. I mean, this dude is humongous. Um, and, and he plays that you know, side of the bit really well. His physicality is really good. Also has military kind of special ops type training, or at least that's what it seems like. Uh, he's very tactical. He's very smart. Um, and he has these really interesting interactions with the kids. They're kind of creepy, um, but, like, he's trying to be nice, but he's so big and intimidating. Uh, it's like, it makes you feel uncomfortable when you watch it, but he delivers it so well. Um, you know, and I just, I, I and, you know, just it kind of unnerves you. But I, I do, I like everything that he's bringing in this one. Uh, I really think with what they give him, he kind of executes. I just would have liked to have seen more of it. Um, because, like I said, he, he's smart, he's intelligent, he's big, he's physical. Um, and all of that plays really well. I would have just, if you could have amplified that more than what you did, this movie, I think, pops even better. Um, on top of that, we also have Pablo Schreiber, uh, who is the half-brother of Lee Schreiber. Um, he plays... Uh, Dwayne Johnson's best friend from the military who helped gets him uh, the job. Uh, you know, his, his character is pretty uh, stereotypical and pretty easy to, you know, predict what, with what's going to happen to him. Uh, but he delivers as, as good as he can uh, and, you know, and gives you a couple nice moments. Um, but then also, and then also Chin uh, Han, who plays Zhao. Uh, I really like him, man. You know, he, he, he's, it's a very, it's a character very similar to things we've seen him in the past. And he just nails it. Uh, he has good chemistry with The Rock. Um, and, and I like the way he explains everything when he's showing him. That whole sequence where he's kind of touring The Rock around is really cool. And like I said, all the tech and stuff that he designs, uh, all of that plays really well. And then, and then the other thing I didn't mention too with Roland Muller, I really like, uh, there's a couple other players too that are, on the bad guy's side, but I like their whole plan and how they execute it. Uh, there's also, oh, I don't know her name, but there is, um, there is one woman in this movie who is, oh, you know, uh, Hannah Qu Quinlevan, uh, who plays Zia. Oh man, dude. I almost completely forgot about her. She is freaking badass, man. And I love the way she plays into, uh, the plan that has to happen at the offsite portion of the, the building. Uh, a lot of the, the security and stuff is kind of off-site, and she plays over there, and all of that stuff works really, really well. So I like what you get from the supporting cast here. Um, you know, everybody just adds for somebody, 
to either Nev or Dwayne to play off of. And all of them, you know, work well and allow them to play off them really well. So overall, man, I really did enjoy uh, did enjoy Skyscraper. Like I said, I thought I liked it better than San Andreas, and I enjoyed San Andreas back when The Rock did that one uh, with Ross and Marshall Thurber. Um, and, and I think that they, they found something, man. They, they're really good at doing these disaster films together. Uh, Thurber knows how to use the rock correctly, and he gets a lot out, gets a lot more than we're used to out of him here. Uh, I'm still waiting, like I said, for that tear roll. Uh, but, but I do really enjoy what the rock brings from an acting and from an action standpoint. Um, so yeah, man, this, this is a fun summer disaster flick. I mean, it's suspenseful and it's dramatic, so I don't know, it's not like Rampage fun. Uh, it's a little bit more serious, but a solid story uh, and great execution from Dwayne Johnson and Nev Campbell and their supporting cast. Uh, so a lot of fun, man. If you're up for a popcorn summer flick, go check out Skyscraper. That's all the C-Man's got to say, man. It's your turn. Hit those comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you want to go check out this movie? Have I enticed you enough to go see it? If you have, please, no spoilers, but let me know what you thought about the movie down below. Uh, as always, if you were new here, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you get alerts every time I make a new video. Uh, for the C-Man Cinema Sit Down, man, that's it. That's all we got to say about Skyscraper. I am the C-Man. I am signing off. Peace!